Number one. Today, we will study about Mape Art 6. This is quarter four. You take the learner's packet for this. This is lesson number one. Week one. Concepts of elements and principles design. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. Like and write your comments down below. Thank you. A beautiful design is a product of carefully plotted design elements chosen to create visual presentation of the idea and the imagination. Design is not about pictures placed together and arranged in a way that creates a story. It is about creating harmony among the elements and having them come together in a final product. The principle and elements of design both carry the same weight in executing an effective piece. The elements of arts and principles of design are the fundamental pieces that make up an artwork. Most works of art will make use of many or all the elements and principles of art. The elements of art are the building blocks of an artwork. Color, line, shape, form, value, texture, and space. They are the tools artists use when creating an artwork. The principles of design refer to how those building blocks are arranged. Contrast, rhythm, balance, harmony, emphasis, and variety. They are the ways an artist organizes the elements of art to create a wide range of effects. We have here the elements of art and the principles of design. Learning task number one. Arrange the jumbled letters to form the correct word. The terms are related to the different elements and principles of art. Number one, arrange, N-L-E-I. Number two, arrange, T-P-E-C-A-N-R. Number three, arrange, N-S-A-R-C-T-O-T. Number four, arrange, H-E-S-P-A-S. Number five, R-M-A-O-N-H-Y. Number six, T-U-E-X-R-E-E. -E. Number seven, arrange P-C-A-S. Number eight, arrange H E P M S I A S. Number nine, L O O R C. And number ten, arrange L E V U A. Here are the answers. Number one, line. The correct answer. Number two, pattern is the correct answer. Number three, the correct answer is contrast. Number four, shapes. Number five, harmony. Number six, texture. Number seven, space. Number eight, emphasis. Number 9, the correct answer is color. And number 10, the correct answer is value. Learning task number 1, letter B. Categorize your answers in activity A in their proper classification. Elements of art and principles of art. 
here are the answers. For elements of art, we have line, shapes, texture, space, colors, and values. And for principles of art, we have pattern, contrast, harmony, and emphasis. Learning task number two. Analyze each picture and try to identify the different elements and principles of art in it. Picture number one. Picture number two. Here are the answers. For picture number one, for the elements, we have color and value. And for the principles, we have harmony. For picture number two, for elements, we have color and texture. And for principles, we have pattern and rhythm. Learning task number three. Draw the following images in your notebook. Then create a design based on the elements and principle of art given in each item. Ask the help of your parents or guardians to grade your work by checking the appropriate column on the rubric that follows. For our rubric, here are the indicators. The student follows direction, creates a unique and catchy design for each item. For the third one, it uses the assigned elements and principles for each item. Item number one. Use the elements, shapes, and color. Add pattern. Item number two, use the elements form and value, then apply emphasis. Item number three, use the elements line and color, and use contrast. Learning task number four, study the objects below. Analyze the design present in each item and write the elements and principles of art that you observed. Use the table in answering this activity. Do this on a sheet of paper. We have item 1, item 2, and item 3. Here are the objects. Number 1, skirt of the girl. Number 2, shower curtain. And number 3, paper bag. Identify the elements of art present in the objects. Identify also the principles of art present in the following objects. Here are the answers. Number one, skirt of the girl, have color and shape, and it has pattern. Number two, shower curtain. For the elements of art, line, shape, and color is present. For the principle of art, Rhythm, movement, and pattern are present. Number three, paper bag. Elements of art, line, shape, color are present. And for the principle of art, emphasis and pattern are present. For the rubric, here are the indicators. Identify all the elements and principles present in each item. Number two, shows understanding of the lesson. Assessment. Learning task number five. Letter A. Read the following statements below. Write true if the statement is correct and write false if not. Write your answer in your notebook. Number one. The elements of art are the tools in creating an artwork. Number two, most works of art will make use of many principles to have a good artwork. Number three, to have a beautiful design, you should be an artist with great imagination. Number four, the principles of art show how the artist use the elements of art. And number five, the principles of design and elements of art carry the same weight in executing an effective piece. Here are the answers. Number one, the correct answer is true. Correct. Number two, true. Correct. 
Number three, false. Correct. Number four, false. Correct. And number five, true. Correct. Assessment. Learning task number five, letter B. Identify what is being described in each item. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number one. These are the building blocks of an art A elements, B principles, C contemporary, letter D none of these. Number two. It is the lightness or darkness of a color. A hue. B texture. C tint. Letter D value. Number three. It refers to the surface quality of an artwork that is usually perceived through the sense of touch. A. Form. B. Texture. C. Color. Letter D. Line. Number four. It is a principle of design in which one element or combination of elements creates more attention than anything else in a composition. A. Rhythm. B. Contrast. C. Emphasis. Letter D. Unity. Number 5. These are the tools to plan and organize artwork. A. Elements. B. Principles. C. Contemporary. Letter D. None of this. Here are the answers. Number 1. These are the building blocks of an artwork. The correct answer is A. Elements. Number two, it is the lightness or darkness of a color. The correct answer is D, value. Number three, it refers to the surface quality of an artwork that is usually perceived through the sense of touch. The correct answer is letter B, texture. Number four, it is a principle of design in which one element or a combination of elements Create more attention than anything else in a composition. The correct answer is C. Emphasis. And number five, these are the tools to plan and organize artwork. The correct answer is B. Principle. And for your reflection, write your personal insights about the lesson in your notebook using the prompts below. I understand that blank. I realize that black, and I need to learn more about black. Great job, everyone! Thank you for watching.